Hello and welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna uh, take a look at update statement and SQL. Uh, update statement is used to uh, modify an existing record, a row, and a table. Uh, so let's get started with uh, a couple of examples and show you what the um, syntax looks like for this statement. So um, we have a table here uh, where we uh, uh, selected uh, a list of these tables limited by 100. And for, from this table, we would like to update, um, let's say, a record uh, based off of uh, criteria. So remember that in a... In an, in an update statement, you need to make sure that you specify your uh, where clause. Otherwise, uh, you're going to end up uh, updating the entire table. So the syntax works uh, in the way that you put update the uh, keyword and then name of uh, the table from base on which you want to perform the update. So the name of the table would be uh, uh, the world indicator. And once you do that, um, let's go ahead and uh, put the uh, uh, put the keyword set set clause. So set tells you uh, what columns or what fields need to be updated. So we would like to uh, update the country name and region. So uh, the country I'm gonna focus on for this example is gonna be Bahamas, and the region will be the Caribbean. So I'm gonna change uh, Bahamas the uh, country name, which the fir first field uh, equals to. Uh, Bahamas and then I'm going to do second column for uh, the region which will be uh, uh, the Caribbean there you go now lastly we're going to we're going to add the where clause so we have the update clause the set clause and the where clause the where clause actually specifies uh, you know uh, these changes happen based on based on one logic or what conditionality so let's go ahead and uh, provide the conditionality. In this case, we're going to say um, uh, change uh, these two columns wherever the country ID is 15. So the 15 is the country ID for Bahamas. So uh, we'll put country ID and then equal to 15. And since it's an integer, um, uh, numerical data, you don't have to put it in, in a single code. So again, what we're doing right now is we're changing two columns. We're updating the values with in the inside these two columns uh, with these new uh, the values, Bahamas um, and Caribbean. Actually, I should have put new names. I put, I put their old names. I'll put uh, Bahamas 2. And the region, I'll change this to uh, Asia. Uh, yeah, that, that will be very uh, unpractical to have Bahamas move to Asia, but just for the sake of experience, uh, take it as it has happened for a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this, uh, this statement and see what it will do. But remember, the country ID is 15 and the country name is Bahamas and the region name is Caribbean, which will change to Bahamas to and Asia. Let's go ahead and do it. It's successful, so now let's go ahead and run this to take a look at uh, what our uh, rows look like now. There you go. So now uh, Bahamas is now changed to Bahamas 2. And uh, Asia has now changed to, uh, and uh, the Caribbean has now changed to Asia. So you can have actually multiple uh, columns, uh, you know, uh, you know, to update here. You know, I changed two columns, but you can uh, add additional columns to it. So uh, just remember that it's, uh, Update uh, is, you know, statement allows you to uh, pretty much when you rename a value or when you update a value within uh, a, a record with new value where you, each time that you update something in a, in a table, that's special tables are really, really, uh, you know, large in, in terms of volume, you need to make sure that you uh, already specify what the, what the change or the setting conditionalities will be in this case. We are going. We change it on the basis of the uh, uh, country ID to be 15. Um, so this video is uh, part of a playlist that will cover uh, basics uh, of SQL and also different aspects of uh, uh, SQL queries in PG Admin. So if you uh, got value out of this tutorial video, please do like, share, and subscribe my videos. As always, thank you so much for watching this. Until next time, have a good one.